Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we'll learn how to install ADDS in Windows Server 2016. Now let's power on our virtual machine. There are a few minimum requirements we need to keep in mind before going for installing Active Directory Domain Services. We need to have an administrator logon or the user with administrative privileges. We need to have a proper network connectivity. We should also log into the server which supports Active Directory Domain Services. The server should be a standalone or workgroup computer. We should have a static IP address and a proper preferred DNS. We can install this Active Directory server role in multiple computers simultaneously. But for now, we'll start with the very basic. We'll install ADDS in a single computer. We need to have free disk space of at least a 2 GB with NTFS file system. We should also have a minimum RAM of 2 GB. Now we can click on dashboard and click on add roles and features. We can also open this window from manage add roles and features. Click next, select role and role based and feature based installation. Here we are looking for ADDS. You can see that ADDS was not previously installed. If it was installed, there could be some tools listed. Now we need to make sure when we select ADDS, the required features are also being installed. Now we can see in the description, ADDS is responsible for authenticating and uh, setting permissions for the users to access resources. Now ADDS in 2016 also supports Azure Active Directory but uh, for now we'll proceed just with the installation on a local computer. Once the installation is complete, we can click close. You can see the required binaries for ADDS are installed on the local computer, but we need to promote the server to a domain controller. We can click close and click on the notification icon and then promote this server to a domain controller. Now, AD can be used to create a child domain. AD can be used to create a new domain tree in the existing forest or a domain controller uh, for an existing domain controller that is DC, ADC or RODC. For now, we'll choose add a new forest and uh, I'm using the domain name india.com for the root domain. We can see we do have forest and domain functional levels. For now, we'll choose 2008 forest and domain functional levels and uh, DNS is selected, meaning we are going to install DNS along with Active Directory. The DSRM password is uh, a safe mode password for Active Directory machines or the computers or servers with Active Directory installed in them. Click next. The NetBIOS name will be India. The default location for Active Directory database will be C Windows NTDS or root drive root folder NTDS. We need not make any changes. We can see the review of our options what we have selected. We can also see the corresponding PowerShell script which runs in the background to execute this option. 
we can see all the options we have selected to promote this server as a domain controller. Now for now, we can save this as well, but I'm not going to choose the save option. I'm giving next. Now it is going to do the prerequisite check and if all the prerequisites are satisfied, then we can click install. Once we click install, the system is going to install all the required tools to make this computer a domain controller and it's going to restart automatically and it may take a couple of minutes. Once the installation is complete, uh, the system uh, will restart and once it restarts, you can log in as a domain administrator. So you can see I got India slash administrator. So we are logging in as a domain administrator for now. Once we log in, we can see the server manager popping up automatically. And there are a few things we can check once the installation is complete. We can notice next in the dashboard or in the console tree, we got ADDS DNS listed. We can see that DNS is installed, ADDS is also installed and we can scroll down in the server manager uh, and see all the services which are running related to Active Directory. Now we should also go to DNS by selecting tools and DNS and uh, go for a full screen view of this DNS window. Expand forward lookup zone under the server name and notice that you have 10 records listed there by default. A minimum of 10 records must be visible and these are those records. When you install Active Directory and DNS together for the first time in a server. In fact, in an entire forest. You can see that there are so many new tools or snap-ins which are visible after installing Active Directory. Now in this video, we have learned how to install Active Directory and how to check whether it is installed properly or not. We have also installed DNS along with Active Directory. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.